Question number seven from S1, January 2017, International A-Level paper. And the discrete random variable X can only take the values one, two, three, and four. For these values, the probability function is given by um, AX plus B over 60. For X equals one, two, three, and four. Okay, so we've got to show that five A plus two B equals 30. So in order to do that, what I'll do is I'll make a little uh, table probability a probability distribution table so here we've got the values of x as one two three and four those are the only values you can take and the probability of those occurring when x is one is going to be a plus b over 60 a plus b over 60 and when x is two it's going to be two a plus b over 60 and when x is three it's going to be three a plus b over 60. And when x is 4, it's going to be 4a plus b over 60. Okay, so now show that 5a plus 2b equals 30. Well, we know that the sum of all these probabilities has to equal 1. So I know that a plus b over 60, in fact, it's going to be all one big fraction because they all have the same denominator of 60, plus 2a plus b over 60, plus 3a plus b over 60, plus 4a plus b over 60. Make that a bit straighter. Plus 4a plus b over 60 has to equal 1. So I can multiply both sides by 60, in which case I'll get here no, no, frat, no denominator. I'll have a plus 2a plus 3a plus 4a. That's going to be 3a plus 3a, 6a, 10a plus, and you're going to have four Bs, is equal to 60. So if I multiply both sides by 60, I'll get this, okay? Which means if you divide by 2, you're left with 5A plus 2B equals 30 as required. That's exactly what we had to show. Okay, that's part A, two easy marks there. Then it says part B, it says, given that F, where is it gone? Given that F3 equals 13 over 20. Now F3, what it means is the cumulative frequency up to X equals 3. So it means basically X1, the probability of X1 plus the probability of X2 plus the probability of X3, okay, equals 13 over 20. So you can say that the, all these added together divided by 60 equals 13 over 20. Or what you could do also is you could say um that uh, what's left over okay is this 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 4a plus b must be a one minus all of those this must be one minus all of those because that's what's left over so what you could what you could do is you could say that um the probability of x equals four okay is going to be basically uh, 1 minus all of these so it's going to be 7 over 20 you could do it that way if you wish okay because this is the cumulative frequency but let's do it the general way that most people would do it okay although it's more more work but you've got basically this plus this plus this equals 13 over 20 so you have a plus b plus 2a plus b plus 3a plus b all over 60, it's all over 60 because they have the same denominator, is going to give you the same as 13 over 20. Okay, alternatively easier would have been 4a plus b over 60 must be 7 over 20 because that's what's left. Okay, if all these add up to 13 over 20, that must be 17, that must be 7 over 20. Okay, so you can do it that way as well. So you can say 4a plus b over 60 equals 7 over 20. That would also work, okay? Um, you know, they'll give you the same answer whichever way you use. But anyway, so if you do it in this way, you're going to have three. That's six a plus three b. Okay, over sixty equals thirteen over twenty. We can multiply both sides by sixty to get rid of the denominator. So this, if you multiply this side by six, you're going to get six a plus three b equals if you multiply this side by 60 
the 60 and the 20 will cancel out, leaving you with 3. 3 times 13 is 39. Okay, and does 3 go into all of these? It does. You're going to get 2a plus b equals 3 into 3 goes 1, 3 into 13. Okay, so you have here a pair of, they have one equation that's formed from this information here, and one equation that we had to show from above, 5a plus 2b equals 30. We've got 5a plus 2b equals 30, so we can take this equation and multiply it by 2 to make the b's the same, so we're going to have 4a plus 2b equals 26. So if we subtract the two equations, we're going to have a equals 4 and we know that b equals 13 minus 2a so b is equal to 13 minus 8 so b is equal to 5 so a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 5 we could have also done it using this equation and we would get the same answer okay so there we have a equals 4 b equals 5 that's part b done now part c it says, given also that y is equal to x squared, find the cumulative distribution function of y. So basically, um, y is equal to x squared. So the values of x were 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the values of y are going to be 1, 4, 9, and 16. Okay, so the probability um, for x equals x was a plus b over 60. All right, so now we know the values of a and b. So let's just, um, a is equal to four, was it? a is equal to four, b is equal to five. Okay, so I'll just take this across to the other side so we can see what's happening. Okay, now, oops, let me get this one there. Okay, so I'll just stick it over there. So we know that the probability that y equals y is equal to now. So it's going to be the same. The probability x equals x is the same as the probability of y equals y because y is equal to x squared. Okay, it's going to be the same probability. Okay, so basically here, you're going to have um, a plus b, so a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 5. So that's going to be 9 over 60. 9 over 60. And for this, the probability is going to be 8 plus 5, 13 over 60. And for this, it's going to be uh, 12 plus uh, 5, 17 over 60. Okay, 3, 8, 12 plus 5, 17 over 60. And for when um, a is equal to 4, 16 plus b, 5, 21 over 60. Okay, so if we add these all together, just to make sure, that's 22. 13 plus 9 is 22. 22 plus 17 is going to be 22 plus 17, 32, um, 39. 39 plus 21 is going to be 40 plus 60 yeah so they add up to one so that's fine okay so find the cumulative distribution function for y okay so this is the this is not the cumulative um, distribution for y this is the probability uh, distribution for y so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this table take this table if it wants me to take it i'll copy the table itself i'll paste it Okay, and I'll make the cumulative frequency. So you got now you got y and you got the cumulative frequency distribution. Okay, which will be f y. Where are we? There, f y. So y equals one, four, nine, and sixteen. So this is okay. So for the cumulative uh, distribution. What we need to do is to add these as we go along. This is the probability distribution. The cumulative distribution is what you get when you add them as you go along. So this will stay. This will start off as nine over sixty. This will be nine over sixty. 
Now 9 plus 13 is 22, so you've got 22 over 60. And 22 plus 17 is 39, so that's 39 over 60. Okay, and then 39 plus 21 is 60, so that's 60 over 60. Okay, so simplifying them all, this of course gives you 1. 3 goes into this, that's 13 over 20, which we actually were told earlier. Um, and then this is going to be dividing by 2, so that's 11 over 30. And this is going to be divided by 3, so you've got 3 over 20. So th those are your cumulative um, distributions for y. So basically what they told us here is that y will give you the same thing as x squared. Okay, so when... Um, you know, so when x is 1, y will be 1. When x is 2, y will be 4. When x is 3, y is 9. When x is 4, y is 16. But the, the probabilities of those occurring will be the same as for x. That's all it means. Okay, so that's what we've done there. Okay, so you just have to replace the y with um, what x squared, the, the x with what x squared is. y is x squared. But the probabilities of those occurring will be the same. That's all. And there we have the answer to this question.